Most people call it the Ice House. Built back in 1919, it was used to unload sand and gravel from ships, but it quickly went to bust three years after it was built. To this day, it remains an iconic part of Lake Superior. In fact, it used to have a pillar in front of it like the picture shown here, but early last year it mysteriously disappeared. Often, it's used for the very purpose that brings us here today, to jump off of. The water was a balmy 59 degrees Fahrenheit. It was so cold at first that I had trouble breathing. This was me attempting to swallow a full breath of air, although it was very difficult. Go in the door! When I got in there, I was seriously starting to like hyperventilate because I could not breathe. Is this where it is? That's a fish. I have no clue where to go. Oh, this is the hole. That's the hole. That is? That must be. That's what we have to go through. Oh. Wait, wait, check, check around here. There's a ladder. What? But someone said you had to go through a hole. Okay, so that rope is there for a reason. Go ahead, Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. How was it?
<laughs> you know, I almost feel like jumping off the ice house is a rite of passage to attending UMD. I mean, this is where I'm living now, and everyone here knows of the ice house, so it only seems logical to have jumped off it if you spend nine months out of the year here. And even if it wasn't a rite of passage, it was still pretty cool.